Hey there guys, I hope you are doing well. Greetings from Portugal, Nuno here once again. Uh, by the way, for you new guys that are watching this, are looking for uh, how to troubleshoot some issues, this um, channel on YouTube began with, you know, troubleshooting some issues on your Mac and also iPhone. And today, since I made a, a new install of uh, macOS Catalina since macOS Big Sur is a mess on, on now on beta uh, I had to reinstall everything once again and also I, have, I had to make a partition uh, bootcamp partition to uh, have Windows on my Mac now I have a Bluetooth uh, first gen Apple keyboard and I had a major, major issue to pair this to my Mac, even with the latest drivers from Bootcamp, from Apple, okay? Now, I've seen lots of videos, lots of tutorial, lots of people that are willing to help, but even watching all the, those videos, I wasn't able to pair this to my Mac, okay? now. There is, in fact, a turnaround. I don't know if Apple is making this on purpose or not, but I hope not. But there is, in fact, a turnaround in order for you to have your wireless or Bluetooth keyboard to work on your Mac on the bootcamp partition. So, without further ado, I know you like things quick, and I like. I know you are writing that the video will start at three minutes, but without further ado. And since this is a, a thing that people ask asks a lot, uh, let's go ahead to the to the Mac and uh, to my system, and I will tell you how you can do it without any effort. Okay, so let's go ahead then. So guys, here we are in the Mac environment. Okay, my MacBook Pro connected to an Apple Cinema Display, and as well, I don't use my MacBook Pro. Uh, keyboard I use as I showed you my wireless or Bluetooth first gen Apple keyboard everything runs very smooth until you as I told you earlier install bootcamp and then you have an issue so that's what we are going to fix and uh, try and help you and uh, you are able to run bootcamp working with your Apple Bluetooth keyboard, okay? Let's go to the screencast and I'll show you how you can do it, okay? Let's go ahead and... Very well, so let's go ahead. I'm now recording in a free program, screencasting in a free program that I found in Windows. So uh, let's go ahead without further ado. Now, I have a link, guys, that I will leave in the description. So you can go ahead, read carefully, and also download uh, what is necessary. In this case, I'm now doing the download. Uh, okay, this is a Dropbox link, no, no issues, let's skip. Okay, no, let's quit. Now, uh, for you to check, as you can see the symbol, it's a very Apple symbol. This is the volume, this is the brightness, okay, now. Let's go ahead here. When you try to pair your device, you go ahead to, you can go by the two methods. You can go by Bluetooth here. This is in Portuguese, but I'll try to, to translate. Okay, Bluetooth, as you can see, my keyboard is connected. You can go ahead and at least connect and you, you will try to pair your device, find your device and pair it. By the way, you have to, you know, uh, uh, turn the device off, then turn it on, keep clicking, at least two or th three seconds, and you will be flashing a green light on this first gen keyboard, okay? After that, it will be recognized here. You go ahead, you have tried it already, that's why uh, you didn't have uh, success because it f it finds the device, it tries to connect, it keep, uh, asks you for a code, but it, you cannot connect the device, even if 
it says the device is connected okay so let's go and uh, I'll, I'll show you the turnaround of this let's go to system management and as you can see here we have bluetooth we have all the apple uh, you know all the drivers that that uh, when i made the bootcamp partition all the drivers that were downloaded with that i have here my nv keyboard okay this is my keyboard but what you have to have to do is go to the uh, human interface okay let me go here human interface and you have you have you, you will see here uh, apple keyboard okay i hope you can see it uh, i have two apple keyboards but there will be one that will be with a yellow triangle in this case of course i have i don't have it because i already downgraded the drivers from bootcamp okay because we have bootcamp 6 and in order for this to work we have to have the bootcamp 5 driver so what you have to do is click go to controller and you want to update the controller and you go search okay in this case search and there will be here the version as you can see i have two versions the version 6.0 i don't know if i can do a zoom here no uh, the the 6.0 and also the 5.1 this is what you have to pick go ahead click next next and your device will be ready to pair okay guys of course i'll not do this again i will show you in the camera all this working okay uh with no issues at all as you can see guys as you can see guys i'm sorry i'm far away from the microphone this is my keyboard this is the setup that i showed you earlier so if i go ahead and click the volume okay everything it's working if i go ahead and go to web page like this okay you can see everything it is working with no issues whatsoever so guys if you have any doubts go ahead and put on the description below i hope this is useful okay uh, this is what i do i like to share when I have any issues I would like to share with you in order for you to fix them, go ahead, see if it's useful. Don't forget, the major fix here is to downgrade the bootcamp 6.0 to the 5.0 in the human interface on your keyboard. Okay, don't forget that. Go ahead put like if you everything worked for you you have the other button it works uh, the same way and if you want to see more videos like this go ahead and click on that subscribe button it will be a big help to put this channel on the top okay thanks a lot and i'll see you on the next one bye bye